Okay, so I got my pills. Um, I have more upstairs, but these are my refills. Uh, there is... They have instructions. Uh, take one tablet each day. And... Take one capsule three times a day. And take four tablets as required. So this one's clonazepam. And it's an anti-anxiety drug. Uh, if you research it online, uh, it is widely acknowledged to be addictive and habit forming which means the longer you take it, the less it will work. And when you try to stop taking it, you'll go through withdrawal. So I'm on this. They recommend I take four of these a day. I'm trying to get off them because no one disputes these are addictive. So I don't want to take an addictive drug. And yes, I still smoke. And yes, I still drink coffee. But... Um, and I'm going to take one of these at the end of the video uh, because I've been feeling a lot of stress from being on the computer. I like to be on the computer and there's really nowhere else I can go. Uh, that I'm aware of. Uh, it's it, the easiest thing is to be on the computer. And I've also limited myself. I've given myself things that I'm not allowed to do on the computer that uh, before when I used to drink beer, I do all the time. So a lot of uh, things giving up. Uh, and it is taxing on the brain. So this is my old clonazepam. You see, they gave me this new bottle of clonazepam. 28 pills. This is 28 pills. And since um, I have either been not compliant, uh, to use medical terms, or in the process of uh, limiting the amount of harmful substances that are in my body. Uh, I'm taxed and I'm underslept and, um, uh, you know, maybe I should just take four a day, be addicted. But, you know, like, I, I find when I was taking four a day, I would start to get angry and frustrated with uh, the messages I read on the computer and I start to want to say mean things to people and I don't like that and um, I want to not be mean. Yeah, and uh, these pills are covered by the government as the result of the recognition that I have a mental illness. And of course there's fear that um, one day they will not be subsidized uh, for whatever political reason. And um, I, I receive a basic subsidy uh, to take, take care of what's called my basic needs and my rent, which is less than, um, it's a struggle to live on the amount of money I am given, and I am thankful that the government provides me this money. Uh, but there's a lot of ways in which it's limiting, and I won't go into it. Uh, when people talk about it, sometimes they make sense, sometimes they sound like 
I don't know, but uh, these came, these pills came with a plastic bag. And recently I've started, uh, you know, plastic bags are harmful for the environment. Stores like to give you plastic bags because it's free advertising for the store. Um, I used to say no to the bags all the time because of this environmental reason. Um, but then when people ask me, do you want a bag, it's, it, it started to sound like, do you want to beg? Uh, or do you have to beg? And uh, I see a likely future in which I'm going to have to literally beg people for things. And I do beg. I already beg. Uh, people who love me, I beg them for things that will comfort me, and um, it's uh, degrading to have to beg, but um, I'm taking the plastic bags now as an acknowledgement that I am a beggar, that I am a lower echelon status of citizen in this country. We're all considered equal, we are taught. Um, but there are privileges, and I don't like the word privilege, but there are privileges and doors which can be opened <coughs> to people who are in a healthier situation than me. So, what I haven't shown you here is uh, my Risperdone, which is my main medication. Uh, and I got that injected into me once every two weeks. And uh, they've been giving me the option of getting a different kind of injection every month. But I have all these delusional thoughts and fears about like switching medication or being put on new med medication that uh, it's just like, it's like bait for a fish to lure them somewhere that is harmful. And sometimes these crazy fears of mine come true. Uh, and I don't know how to stop. Uh, I mean, I try... I, I, I try to protect myself, um, but I'm not always able to do that. So uh, let's go get some water and I'll take uh, clonazepam, which is for anxiety. I don't know if watching this you can tell I am anxious. I, I'm not as anxious as I can be. I can get quite anxious. Uh, but uh, I'm also underslept and maybe I'll take a clonazepam and feel less anxious and maybe I'll sleep. So, uh, we're going to the washroom. Oh good, there's already a cup here. Don't want to get the camera wet. Here's our water. There's our clonazepam. So this will be my second one of the day. And the prescription says take no more than four. And that's it. I mean, there's no pain to that, aside from the recognition in your mind that you're taking an, addi an addictive drug that disables your um, mental capacity. <laughs> now I will upload this video.